This is the Bafang Mid-Drive Ultra G510 M620. And as you can see here and in my other videos, there's very little factory grease and it all gets flung to the side and there's no grease on the gears. So normally I open this up, take the motor off and pack it with grease, with corn head grease as you've seen in my other videos. Well, now I'm gonna try to install a Zerk fitting, grease fitting in the side here, which is actually the bottom. And so in the future, I won't have to open the motor up if I need to add more grease. So I went to Harbor Freight and I got an assortment of grease fittings. And these are one quarter by 28. Of course, you can use a metric or whatever. And then I got a matching set screw. So when I'm done filling it with grease, I'm going to take the grease fitting off so I have a smooth bottom and put in a set screw. <clears throat> so the perfect place to put this plug is right in the center of these two bolts. The holes are here, but you can use the bolt heads if you have it closed up. And that's 60 millimeters. So I'm going to put it right in the middle at 30 millimeters. And I'm going to make it 15 millimeters deep to the center of the hole. So right there is going to be my hole. Now I have my punch. I'm going to put it right in the middle. Naturally, I missed. There we go, that's better. Now, I've greased my drill bit. This is the proper, proper drill size for the quarter 28 tap. It's a number three drill. Now I put grease on there to catch all the chips. And I hopefully, no chips will go inside so that I could do this with the motor still mounted on the bike completely closed up. So I'm going to start in my mark there. I didn't get a few chips in there. All right, so when you drill this, drill it almost all the way through without grease, and then grease your drill bit to catch the chips, and then you won't get any chips inside. And now I did the same thing. I put grease on the tap, and I'm gonna tap my threads. Try to get it perpendicular to the face. That grease seems to be holding all the chips. Back it out slowly. Take it out slowly, and you'll have all the chips stuck there to the grease. Now I can install my grease fitting and start pumping in grease. Okay, so I've got the nipple installed, the grease nipple, and I did get a few chips inside, so very small chips. I don't know that one or two chips would migrate from this position into the gears, but I'm going to reinstall my drive gears now, which are all basically dry. You gotta kinda install them both at the same time. Now I'm gonna start to fill it with the corn head grease, and I'm gonna see how it distributes itself around the gears. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. All right, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to rotate the gears. You can see grease starting to go onto the gear teeth here. Twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, seven, twenty-eight. 26, Oh yeah, we're getting a good coating on this main drive gear here. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. If I had the cover on, this would be going over here. 37, 38. 39, 40, that seems to be, that cavity seems to be full. Of course, with the cover on, it would be squeezing over here. But the main thing is the main drive gear is getting greased. Okay. Okay, so I put in 80 pumps of the corn head grease I'm gonna try that and I'm gonna close it up and then I'm gonna take it out for a test drive and if it is still noisy, I'll put in an extra couple pumps, which I think it'll be nice and quiet. I mean, look how the grease is evenly distributed here. And then I'm gonna take the Zerk fitting out and plug it with a socket head screw that mounts flush to here. Okay, so I've got it back together. I'm going to put five extra pumps in just for good measure. And that should get it good and greased. Now I'm going to take this fitting out and put in my set screw. All right, so I've got some Loctite blue on there. Putting in the set screw. It does not interfere with any of the gears inside. And I'm making it exactly flush so in conclusion I tried to drill the hole without dropping shavings inside but I did get a couple shavings inside so I still think you have to take your motor off open it up grease it but if ever it gets loud again you'll be able to take that plug out put in your grease fitting and give it a couple shots of grease and get it back to uh, a good quiet running motor now on my other motor I have 5,000 miles on and it is silent as can be because I put the corn head grease in earlier but I had to take it apart once to add a little more corn head grease I didn't quite get enough but now I won't have to take it apart the second time I'll be able to do it right on the bicycle so if you're brave enough Give it a try. That's it. Happy riding.